My mother always encouraged us to be proud of being Hawaiian at a time when it wasn't really fashionable to be Hawaiian when we were young. When we were little kids in Kona, the kids in Kona would run around saying, your mother is a witch, your mother is a witch. The reason was she was dancing uh, these ancient Pele trilogies and things like that, reviving them, uh, bringing them back to the Hawaiian culture. And the, of course the church in those days really kind of frowned on it. Nona Beamer was born into her musically talented family in 1923. Her great-grandmother, Isabella Kalili Deshay, composed chants and taught the hula during a period when missionary influence forced her and her mother to hide these activities. Nona's grandmother, the legendary Helen Deshay Beamer, continued the tradition of perpetuating music and dance, despite the ridicule of her day. At the ripe old age of four, Nona learned the hula. At age 12, an excited, energetic Nona entered the Kamehameha School for Girls. It was a Hawaiian school, and ah, it could teach me lots of things about being a Hawaiian. I was sad when it didn't, <laughs> but uh, in the 30s, they wanted to make us hmm, more hollified. <laughs> I wanted to do the chants, I wanted to do the dances, this had been part of my life. It was just necessary, an absolute necessity, that I would teach these to my friends. So I taught some chants to them and some songs, and, and then we did a tea for the trustees in the pink garden down there, all the pink uh, begonia, and we chanted as we walked in. and. <laughs> That was not the thing to do, no, no. That was not allowed at Kamehameha, but anyway, we did it. <laughs> Nona graduated from Kamehameha in 1941 and determined to learn more about people's culture. She studied anthropology in college. She returned to the Kamehameha schools as an advisor to the Hawaiian club she helped to start ten years earlier. Nona stayed on campus, eventually teaching classes in Hawaiian history, and culture, and music. She was a major force in bringing Hawaiian studies into the program of Kamehameha schools. She was always a resource, you know. We always knew that we could learn more about Hawaii from her. She symbolized uh, someone who knew her roots um, and was willing to share what she knew. Poo, poo, he knew, he knew. Oh, 